everybody, Big Beardy back again with another week in the life of, yes, another week on the road with me. So we're going to see what I get up to in a minute. But as always, I've always got a bit of admin I've got to get through. Let me just get comfy. So I got a message from the Core Exchange. I know, right? Um, this was on the video I did last week, which was about the Core Exchange price rise. It was my week in the life of, but I talked in depth about the new price rise of the Core Exchange. They actually messaged me, which I was shocked because I didn't think they paid attention to me. Didn't think they cared about the big beardy one, but they obviously watch some of my videos. Any video I'm talking about this, the CX, I suppose they do pay attention to. So, they wanted to clarify something. You can see the comment, it's below my last week's, I'll put a little thing, card, whatever, in it up here in the corner so you can find it. But it was last week's um, Week in the Life of the, the um, I think I called it the Curry Exchange Price Rise or something like that, but check it out, there are comments there. And it said the new price rise is only for new members as of the 1st of May. So, if you're an existing member, it will not affect you. That's how I'm reading it, from what they've said. This does change things a little bit, because obviously I went into depth about, um, obviously, if the price rise is for everyone when you come to a new, is it worth renewing? How will it affect people? Uh, for myself, who's got my, you know, a few of my own customers, and I've got people that phone me directly. I don't get all my work for the CX. Is it still worth me renewing? And I said, if I get a few more big customers, then it probably wouldn't be. But that was still up in the air. So as of now, seeing that I'm still on my existing price, and at this moment in time with the amount of customers I get, I, I've got, and yes, it's definitely worth me renewing because I still get enough work from the CX. So I bring this to you so you can sort of make your own decision why they've done this or um, how it's going to affect you. Like I said, as a existing customer, it shouldn't. But if you're looking to join the CX, you will be paying a higher, higher price. Now, we can we can discuss and argue why they've done it this way. Um, the, I think the way I look at it is they've probably looked at the situation. This is they haven't told me this. This is my own assumption. They probably looked at the situation, and one of the things. As existing customers and uh, you know people who have been in the industry for a long time, as we we talk about constantly, is the amount of new people that join the industry and the amount of how many drivers there are compared to work, and it is a problem. Um, and I think the CX might have looked at that and gone, well, we've got a lot of really good members that renew every year. We want to keep those members. We don't want to lose them because they can't get work through us. And have gone and said, if you want to join this club of these people who are obviously already paying for the service and we know they're good customers, then you're going to have to pay more because there's already an awful lot of drivers on the CX. It's quite congested in some areas and they don't want to lose good members because they can't get the work. But at the same time, they still want to keep business coming in. They've got to make profit. We all know that. So that's the way I sort of see it. They've probably, but I could be completely wrong. There might be, <laughs> there might be completely other reasons why they're doing it, but that's the way I look at it. I think they've seen the the landscape especially after the lockdown and everything and gone there's a lot of drivers a lot of them are new and we're losing good members who bring who are doing obviously a good job and we want to keep on our service because these new drivers are coming in that maybe aren't as good or are cowboys or you know we we've all heard horror stories out there or just people that do not know what they're doing they're here for a quick buck maybe stop those guys joining and causing that issue but this brings me on to a, another topic. So I've, I've spoken before, there are other apps you can use. There are, you know, you don't have to go the CX route. So the second bit of uh, information I'm dropping today is I've been concentrating a lot recently on Week in the Life of uh, videos. They take quite a long time to do because I've got to edit some and then throw them back out. You know, if you watch a 30 minute Week in the Life of video, I've probably spent about two, two and a half hours doing it because I've got to record it, then I've got to look through it, make sure it's all correct, then I've got to... Um, edit it, then I've got to watch it all again to make sure it all works, so it takes a bit of time, you know? So I'm looking at not doing a week in the life off for the next two, three weeks. Don't worry, don't unsubscribe because you're thinking you're never going to see them again, especially if that's the only reason you're tuning in. They are coming back, I'm just taking a little bit of a break from them. Because I want to do a lot more information, informational videos, I haven't done any in a long time, and the landscape has changed in the last year since I started doing the, the, the YouTube thing and some of the things I said back then might not be true now and um, obviously we've had a pandemic and a lockdown since I started doing videos so things have changed and I want to address those issues and also bring you some new content. I will be doing a few day in the life of, so I'll be dropping them now and again as well so don't worry there is going to be plenty of content over the next few weeks but just no week in the life of. 
I, I'm thinking three weeks, but then again, it might get to the end of next week and think, oh, I want to do them again. You never know. But I'm just letting you know, if you don't see one next week or the week after, that's why. There's plenty of other people doing them as well. You know, you can go and watch them. Van on the Run, TG Logistics, go check them out. They're doing Week in the Life of stuff. That's why you tune in. Go check them out as well. But, so, I want to try and get a load of videos done on loads of different topics so that when I come back to do the week in the life of, I've got plenty of other videos that pop into you guys as well. Also, I want to concentrate on my new channel, check out Big Beardy Show. Um, and if you do like my content, please like, comment and subscribe. Smash those buttons. I love hearing you for you. And especially if anyone has forgot, because my friends haven't. If I get to 2,000 subscribers, I've got to fling my ass out of an aeroplane, which is the most terrifying thing in the world to me. So yeah, if there's not any other reason to subscribe, it's to see my ass plummet to earth. Why wouldn't you want to subscribe? I would subscribe if I couldn't already subscribe. Anyway, you know what I mean. So let's get into the week in the life of. Check it out. Hello, everybody. We're back again. And it's not Monday. No, it's not. It's actually Tuesday today. Um, Tuesday afternoon. I, 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 I still feel rough. I do. Um, but I was working yesterday, but I just felt rough as nuts. And I, I really just didn't want to record anything because I just felt like shit. And when you feel like crap, you don't really want to do it. But, was working, had a bit of a shit day yesterday. I won't lie. I won't lie. Um, got a job down to Slough. Couldn't really get anything. Went and saw a friend of mine near, uh, in the area and sort of, you know, had a coffee and spoke to them for a bit. But just couldn't get any work. Um, there was plenty about. I think I was just bidding a bit high maybe um yeah it was just one of those days where things just didn't fall into place and then got a little job home but i didn't make a huge amount of money but i did book in the job for today which i did this morning which was from um dearham going to jcb <laughs> i made a mistake i saw the job pop up dearham in the morning not far from my house, about 20 miles from my house, the room is. And I thought, oh, I'll put a bid on for that. This was Monday. And I got the job. I was like, fantastic. But I didn't really look where it was going. I just sort of thought, well, I saw the mileage and I saw it was going to the Midlands area with the little uh, map. And it wasn't until the job came through and said JCB and I thought, oh no, I'm going to get stuck there forever. And I rocked up to JCB this morning lorries everywhere more than I've ever seen at jcb um they they sort of have tracks at jcb when you get there about seven of them and you sort of just pull into a track and line up and then you you um go they have like this beeper thing you go and speak to the office and they give you a beeper a lot and when it beeps that's when you you go and hand that in they give you your paperwork back and you go through to where you gotta drop off and i saw all these lorries and i thought i'm gonna be here for fucking hours because that's the way, most times when I've been there, there's been like three or four lorries and I've been waiting an hour. There must have been 20, 25. And I thought, oh. So I got in the van, I got ready, got comfy. I was just about to record actually. I was just about to record someone saying where I was and what I was doing and maybe show you around a little bit. Because the operation they've got there is crazy. The diggers and stuff everywhere, it's, it, it's a massive operation. It's just unloading's a nightmare. And literally I'd sat down for 20 seconds and a beeper went and I was in and out within 20 minutes. I could not believe it. I thought this never happens ever. I've got lucky. But I, there was a bloke there and he did my tits and he was one of the forklift drivers because they, they, it didn't, whoever's dropped off there, you know, especially when you, when you go to Bay 11, I think and it's like A, B, C. Well, one of the bays was open to drop, you know, no, no one was sat, not, not that. so I pulled into to the bay, and he came out, no, you can't park there, you got to wait, and all. I was like, but there's no one else, so I pulled off, and I went back, and parked up on the side of this little roundabout they've got, within 10 seconds, the same bloke goes, all right, you can come in now, to the place I just was bloody parked, don't get it, don't get it, <laughs> so yeah, he pissed me off, because he was just, he was, he was just being an arsehole, and then I've just got a job from, where did I pick up from? Nottingham, I think. Is it Nottingham? Somewhere like that. To Kings Lynn, and I'm in Kings Lynn now. And it's lovely and sunny. It's been pissing down all day, there's been storms, I've heard thunder, and it's absolutely beautiful now. 
So that's been my t last two days. A uh, quick roundup, really, as I, I didn't do anything yesterday. I still feel a bit ropey. I do. Um, which isn't great. And I just, I just feel like I've just got no energy. I know it's not the vid. I know I haven't got COVID because um, my wife, who's a carer, she gets tested every twice a week and she hasn't got it. So if she hasn't got it, then massive possibility that I don't know, just because of the fact we live in the same house, we sleep in the same God, I'm bed. You know, if she's going to get it, I'm going to get it. And we've, But we've all had this, uh, my daughter, my son and myself, uh, I'm a little bit ropey, but my daughter especially and my son, they, they've both had this stomach bug and that's what I've got and that's what I reckon I had Friday. And it's just not, I haven't quite, I just feel <sighs> lethargic. Is the word I think I'm looking for. So it's been an interesting start to the week. I'm on good money today. Don't get me wrong. Uh, yesterday was shite, but today, you know, I'm, I'm going to be home on good money. Not complaining. Got a job booked in for the morning as well, going from Thetford, which is a bit further away from home that I'd like to pick up from, but it's for a regular line. Going down to Brentwood, I want to say, northeast of London. So it's not a big job, it's not a massive job, but it's like an eight o'clock pickup. It's only about an hour and a half from my house, uh, from the pickup. Hour and a half, maybe two hours if, no, it can't be two hours, only 80 miles, it's a 60 odd mile. And I'm getting 80 for it. So I'll have that dropped off by half nine, hopefully, and have good money in the, in the bank account. And then, um, yeah, see what's going on. So yeah, that's been the beginning of my week. Um, I'll, I'll try and keep on top of the recording from now forward. I just, I just feel a bit crap. I think a good night's sleep tonight might just uh, get rid of the last of it because it's, um, it's definitely on its way out. But it's a little bit, bleh. it's been a nightmare trying to exercise as well because I just feel like crap. But nah, there you go. So yeah, that's been the beginning of the week, and uh, you will see what I'm not gonna. I'm going home now, Kings Lynn. I'm not that far from home. I'll get home. It's what? What time is it? I don't even know the time. It's about half. It's about five o'clock. Ten past five. Nothing's going to ping. So I'm going home, and then we'll get that job in the morning, and we'll see what happens from there. All right there. So it's Wednesday. It's <clears throat> about quarter to eleven. Picked up a quarter past eight this morning. Down to Bedford. Dropped it off. I actually dropped it off at the matchroom. I suppose you could call it the matchroom mansion. It's uh, where Eddie Hearn and that lot do all their work. So went inside, dropped it off. Didn't see anyone I knew though. No one famous. I think Anthony Joshua weren't walking around the place. But job done. So I'm in Bedford. There's very nice houses around Bedford. Very nice houses. But I'm just. Um, oh, I've got a frog in my throat this morning. Uh, looking for work. Took me forever to find somewhere to park. You can't park anywhere in Bedford, though. But, uh, yeah, just looking for work. Um, a lot of stuff going in and around London, sort of 20, 30 mile jobs. Don't really want to go into London today. Really don't. So I'm just seeing what I can grab. Bid on a load of stuff. Uh, I'm going to get out in a minute and just go for a walk just to stretch my legs. Because you have to do that. And um, at some point, get some bloody breakfast. I haven't eaten yet. So not terribly exciting. Um, just a little in Bedford. Not been here before. It is very nice around here. I will be, I mean, the houses are lovely. I, 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 I shouldn't be on this street. They might kick me off. It's too nice. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll let you know what I get uh, in a minute. Okay. Oh, it's baking hot today. It is baking. We've had loads of storms and shit, but the day is hot as hell. So, got a job from some little town south something or other going to um, Hounslow so I've got that one all right money you know small band job so I did small band prices and then they um, they phoned me back up about five minutes after I got there and said listen we've got a job in Ilford going to the X2 or near the X2 do you fancy doing that one as well I was like yeah I can do that and they said, well, how much do you want on it? I said, what are the extra miles? Excuse me. I said, about 20 miles. I said, I'll tell you what. I oh, know, I think they said 12 miles. I said, I'll tell you what, put 30 quid on top, because the job should be about 50, 60 quid. I said, just do it for 30 quid on top of the job I'm already doing. 
And uh, whenever I'm in the area, I'll give you a dingle. And they're like, yeah, that sounds great. The reason I did that is I'm trying to build a relationship. I don't know any shippers in this area. And from where, speaking to the guys who I did this job for, all their stuff is M25 going from one side of London to the other side of London. And I don't have any real contacts in this area. So I thought, I know, if I do them a nice, nice deal on that, I do a good job, which I have, they've put me on a WhatsApp so I can talk to them when I'm in the area. Now I've got a contact. All right, I probably lost 20 quid on the job. I went 20 quid cheap, but it's built a relationship with the potential to make me a lot more money. And especially, I always struggle in London. So if I've got a contact, I go, hey, what you got available? What you got? Just, just so I can get, don't have to bid on work and I can have work sent to me. I thought that was a good idea. God, my hair's a state, I've just seen it. Bloody hell, I'm all over the shop. So, I've just dropped off, it's four o'clock now. Job's popped up, Guildford to Norwich. I'll put small van price in because it's taking me home and it's a small van job and it's I've got a job booked tour in out of Norwich first thing tomorrow morning, so I have to get home again. A lot of my regulars are starting to give me a lot more work now, which means it's great, but I've got to sort of try and get back to Norwich a lot more. But, if yeah, things keep going the way they are, I'll start posting my own jobs on the CX and getting some money that way. So that's the plan. Also, I'm getting recognised a lot more. A chap recognised me in my last uh, drop-off. Um, I didn't catch his name. But he said, you big beardy. It's, it's like the second dude in two weeks who's recognised me. I'm not complaining. You know, if you do notice me and you, you, you know it's me, come up and say hello. I love it. <laughs> I love meeting people. Um, so I must be getting famous. <laughs> yeah, right. Um... But that was nice. So I'm off to Guildford now, pick up Aylesbury home. Pickup's about six. I'm not going to be home until about half ten because it's about a four hour drive in total. So I'm going to get to Guildford now, park up near where the pickup is, and go for a nice long walk, stretch my legs, get some weed. That's the plan. So here we go. I might show you a bit of Guildford. I'm right next to Heathrow. I'm watching the planes go off. I, I hate flying. I'm shit scared of it. But no. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get on with it. So, as you can see, I'm in the middle of the woods. <laughs> um, I'm collecting from somewhere over there, in the middle of nowhere, some COVID tests to go back to Norfolk. I haven't actually found where I'm collecting from. I'm in the weirdest place. Um, I'll have to figure out where it's actually called because there's just, some of the roads around here are just, crazy they're tiny there's trees over the top it's like going through a tunnel uh, beautiful place near Guildford so if anyone knows the name of these woods near Guildford um, let me know but I haven't got a clue around <laughs> like this is an adventure waiting to happen so I'm gonna go for a little walk I'm gonna see what I can find see what I can see see if I can get lost but it is absolutely beautiful around here as you can see oh, there's woods everywhere I should imagine being in the middle of the woods, but it's just a little path here. So I'm going to follow this, and it goes all the way down there. I'm going to find out where I end up. So, people, it's Thursday. I got home late last night. I got home about half eleven. I was very tired after picking up from Gillingham. Not is it Gillingham? I'm I'm very tired today. I will be honest. I don't think I'm a hundred percent still. I just don't feel right still. I just uh, usually by Thursday, if I've been working hard, I, I feel tired and everything. You know, you, you're working a long week, but I just feel drained. So, yeah. But anyway, yeah, I got the job from getting up to Aylesbury, Aylesbury back to Norwich. And oh, it, it was a good collection. It was a nice place. It was a beautiful place. That forest and everything. Beautiful. But on the way home, they've been doing a lot of work on the A11. And before it was, uh, the road was closed between Ale, um, Fetford and Shepparton. Which was a bit of a ball lake. But now it's between Shepparton and Norwich. They've, I've got to find another route through. It was a complete pain in the arse. They need to finish that. Um, I don't know when they're going to be finishing those roadworks. I don't even know what they're doing. You can't see any change in the road. So I'm not sure what they're actually playing at. But yeah, got home about half eleven. Um, very tired, and then I obviously had this job from Norwich to Milton Keynes today. Uh, first thing, eight o'clock pickup, and oh, 
what an arsehole I was picking up from. It was from a, it was it was from a bloke at his house. It wasn't from a business, and it was going to Milton Keynes. It was just a PC. A company obviously wanted it back. He probably used to work for him or got a new one. I don't bloody know. But the dude was a complete ass. Like, I got there, knocked on the door. He came to the door in just a shirt, no trousers on, looking like he'd just got out of bed. It was 8 o'clock in the morning. Come on, get up. Um, and you know when someone just talks to you like you're a piece of shit? I was getting that from him. I got that vibe. And he was like, oh, I want a receipt for this. And how do I know you're who you are, say you are and all this other bullshit but it was just the aggressive nature of it and so showed him what I had to show him you know got the got it loaded got out of there because he, he was doing my nutting and I'm plus I think I'm a little bit irritable because I'm tired as well <laughs> then got across to Milton Keynes that was nice and easy dropped off and then got a little job from Milton Keynes to Slough where I am now well I'm just down the road from Slough um Longford I think it's called trying to get a job home but it's three o'clock now and I've got nothing plenty been pinging but I want to I just want to get home now I'm I I think I'm done for the week I don't like saying it but if I don't have to work tomorrow I might not I know I should I should try and make more money but I, don't, I just feel like I feel exhausted um and I don't know why. I've got, I've got something. It's not normally me. I don't know if it's because I'm doing a lot of running in the afternoons as well. That could be tiring me out. But then again, it should give you more energy. Who knows? So, yeah. So the plan now is to get the job, get home. I'm half tempted to have an hour's kip. That's how exhausted I am. But we'll see. And then, um, yeah, I've got some things I need to do over the weekend. Some... Uh, big phone calls to make to people so I might do them tomorrow and I've still got to get this booked in to get the bloody this light that's come up which I know there's nothing wrong with it because I've got a new brake this on it but I've got to give them a call get that sorted so lots happening <sighs> let's get back to it so peeps it's a Friday afternoon um, yeah got back Thursday morning uh, with a Covid test which you know I was home late again Wednesday and Thursday were long days I'll be honest, this week has been, I can't say it's been bad, because I've hit my minimum, you know, for the week, so I can't really complain, but I've done an awful lot of, sort of, miles for that, and I've done a lot of hours, it feels like I should have been paid a hell of a lot more this week. Um, I've just finished a job, I've just been doing local stuff uh, for a few friends of mine, and I've been to the tip for myself, and got some... Um, got all that stuff out of the way. I'm just about to go inside. It's what two o'clock now, and I'm going to get all my paperwork done so I don't have to worry about it for the weekend. And the weekend's mine to do what I want with. But it's just it's been one of those weeks where it feels very. I feel like I should have made a lot more money, and that isn't because of any real factor other than choices I've probably made or how I've been bidding. I just it. The best thing I find to do, especially at the end of the week, is reflect on your week and figure out where I lost money, where you made money, what was the right decision, what was the wrong decision. And nine weeks out of ten, I'll look back on my decision and go, I've made mistakes, but generally I've made good decisions and I've done well and I can look at it positively. This week, I, I can't. This is that one week where I look back and go, I didn't, I didn't make the right decisions. Um, I went for jobs that were not long wheelbase jobs, a lot of them, a lot of them were small van jobs, um, I was getting back with those COVID tests because I wanted to be home every night this week, so it's, but then again, I've been home every night this week, but because I've been getting home at like 10, 11 o'clock, I go straight to sleep, I wake up and I'm up again at 8 o'clock in the morning, it was like, was it worth it? And the answer's no. It's great to see the family, but it felt like I didn't even see the family. You know, I was get, getting home after the kids were in bed and I was leaving in the morning before they got up, so I didn't even see them. So, need to have a long, hard think about this week and think what I'm going to change for next week and going forward and what mistakes do I just never make again. I said, can't blame anyone else for your decisions or if things go right or wrong. You've got to look at yourself and figure... And the, first, the the book starts with, stops with you. So you've got to look at you and go, where have I done well, where have I done shit? And this week I can say, 
haven't done bad, I've made good money, but at the same time, I've made poor decisions. So yeah, just got to think on that a little bit. But anyway, that's been my week in the life of. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Like I said, it's been a bit of a weird week. I've sort of been going back and forth to London. Haven't been able to show you much. Um, but you sort of get a feel for what I've been doing all week. You know, I, I've made my minimum. Um, so, you know, £200 a day before expenditure. I've, I've done that. So I can't really complain. But at the same time, I just feel like I've not done great. But anyway, please like, comment, subscribe, and like I said at the beginning of the video, if you want to see my ass fall from the heavens to the earth, it might be worth uh, subscribing so you can see that. Not looking forward to that. But anyway, uh, be safe out there. Have a great day.